everyone. I just wanted to go over um, drawing a Chinese lantern with you all. So I've got one here that I will use to show you. And you can see some of the drawings that I've done on the side here as well. <clears throat> so to get started, when you look at the lantern, if it's facing you, it's circular. So we'll look at that image first. So in order to draw a circle, um, what's easier sometimes is to draw a vertical line and then half it so it's equal and then or oh, do beg your pardon and then do a horizontal line of the same length and half that as well and then join it up so when you join it up you must keep these edges rounded you don't want to come around to a point so keep those edges rounded So that will help you draw a circle. Now, with this in mind, um, we've got the central point here where the stem comes out of. And then we've got these lovely markings that are just coming out. I'm going to draw them in a little bit heavier um, just so you can see them a bit better. Um, ordinarily, when I do sketches, I would sketch quite lightly. But we'll do it heavier here so you can just see. You'll notice that these lines I'm putting in aren't dead straight. They're on a bit of a curve as well. Um, and then the edges. So they're all different. Some of them will come in a little bit. So this one's sort of rounded here and dips in and comes out a bit. And this one's coming out a bit more of an angle here. And then coming across. And it's rounded up here where that line meets it. A little bit of rounded edge there. And then dips in a little bit and comes out. That's just all coming in a bit there. And as we come round it comes out again where those lines meet pops out a little bit there and comes round that one's rounded there and then this one is dipping in again and up and this one's straight across so it's pretty much like that I mean now within that there are lots of um, veins as well I'm not going to go into detail too much about doing those today I just want to look at the overall shape of the lantern I've got some little veins coming through when you put the little veins in do make sure that as you're coming around to this edge you're curving around that edge when you come up you're not doing a straight line like that you're going to come down and do a little curve so as if that vein's going around the plant which is what it is actually doing it's going round it's not just coming down and going straight to that edge you're coming down and you're going to do a little curve at the edge there so this is just looking at the plant at that view now if we change it change it give it a slightly different view point here let's turn it a little bit more this is when we start to have an ellipse so a bit like the circle in order to draw the ellipse what we need to do is put our horizontal line in this horizontal line represents the length of the top of the lantern there going across and then this part here which is forms the ellipse it was circular but we've turned it now so that's more of an ellipse so this central line divide it in half again and depending on how thin or wide the ellipse is will depend on this line here so what I can see at the moment is about that much and then if I again, like the circle, draw around, keep those lines here curved, come round, curve. And what it should look like is sort of equal segments. So if I'm drawing it like that, then I can put the side of the lantern in. Bearing in mind we've got the stem coming up from this central point here, coming up there, coming down. And then from that point there, if we was going to follow that, that would come to our bottom of the um, lantern. So we're just going to put a line here. 
Now, we need to know how long this line is going to be because if it's too long, it's going to look quite strange and too short, again, quite strange. So we need to get it in a reasonable position. So what I do is I measure the width of the top of the lantern there and then I compare it with the length and I'm looking at this side here and that's pretty much just over halfway. So if I measure my lantern, come across just over halfway, just past that stem, come down and that's going to give me a, a marking point. So then I know that I'm going to draw this lantern coming down to that point there. I'm always comparing the width with the length when you're drawing and that comes right at that side. Yeah, so let's draw that a little bit heavier. So we get that initial shape and then we put the lines in. So because we've got this edge here of our ellipse, it means that when we put these lines in, we can bring this out to the circle end here, like that there, and then it turns just on that lip and comes down. And the same with this one here, it's coming up a little bit higher there. We're going to take it to that edge of our ellipse and then it turns and it comes down and the one in front of us again gets that lip there and it comes down I mean there's little um, wibbly wobbly bits in there but we won't do those yet it's important just to get those initial shapes in first and again coming around there and then ones at the back um, are just coming out to that edge and then it's going around and this one here is coming up to that edge and actually that one's going out a little bit further there. We've got one going behind and again this one's coming out it's just breaking out of that ellipse circle there and this is coming out there. So that is that sort of angle hopefully that's quite helpful. Um, then we're going to look at turning it to its side. Um, so we might just see a teeny tiny bit in the top there. Um, and again, when we put that ellipse in, this ellipse now is a lot thinner. So when we draw that horizontal line in across here, this horizontal line, don't forget, is going to be the width of the top of our lantern. We're going to find the halfway area. Now, because I've moved the lantern up more, we see less of the top of it, which means the ellipse is going to be thinner. So again, equal measurements. But it's going to be a lot thinner now. And then again, keep those edges rounded. Don't make them pointy. Nice and round as you go around like that. Now we're going to see more of this side of the um, lantern because we've now turned it. So again, we could measure the top of our um, lantern here and I can see more of it now. So that's pretty much, I'm going to say length of it comes to about three quarters of my top. I'm going to come down, put my mark off there and then we're just going to look at that rounded shape of the lantern we're going to put in there and again once we've got that in we'll go back to that top so we've got out we can't really see now because we've got the top here of the stem that's just coming out in there and then what we've got here is the this, where they've got the curve point that's now touching the stem and it's a little curve and that now comes down and goes down to our point and the same this side comes down goes to that point there and then from this top bit here that's smaller in there and it comes out quite wide on this one here goes round and we've got another one that's quite slim in there just barely see it that's coming around keeping to that shape and it's now going back into that centre bit, coming up. That's going above our um, ellipse line there and coming round. 
and as we go around the back again and we just put following this round and that comes right out and bends in and this one here is coming right out there so in that respect you get three different angles of your lantern the top one where you're looking straight at it from the very top and it's circular when you start to turn it this circle now becomes an ellipse and you start to see less of it so depending on how much that's turned will depend how wide you see it but do remember with your circle you're doing your horizontal line first which represents the width and then you half it and in general, if it's a full circle, these lines here will all be equal. And you're going to join those up. When you join them up, do hold your pencil halfway down. So I'm holding mine here. If you're holding it too tight here, like you're going to write a letter, you can't see what you're doing and it really restricts your movement. If you hold the pencil further back, you've got more movement. So as we turn this down, Again, the horizontal line is going to represent the width of the top of that lantern. But now we see less. So this line we're going to half again. And these two lines here are going to be equal. And then we can go around and draw that ellipse in. And then as we go thinner, again, the same line is going to represent the width. Half it. But this line here is going to be a lot shorter. And if we were going to go down a step further um, and we would literally just saw the side of the, um, the lantern, you would literally then just have the width as we've been putting in. And there would be barely any ellipse in here at all. That line would be minute. And then you'd see... The top of the stem come out and you wouldn't really see the top parts here because it would all just come down um, as we've been drawing up around there coming down but these top bits here you don't see the side at all you're just going to see those top parts of the lantern just curling round um, and barely see the back there so do remember that. Put those ellipses in first, measure the width, compare it to the length, and then you can carry on by putting these lovely shapes in. I hope that little demo has helped. Um, see you soon.